really confused. Feet, turn left onto North Mariposa Road. I have no clue. Turn left what onto I'm doing. North Mariposa Road. Time is 11:11. 11, 11. Make a wish that I can make it out here and get my sticker. Okay, it's 11:50. So I was there for 40 minutes uh, just to get towed. I waited. I didn't know what to do. I don't speak Spanish, so I can't really cut my. Just to tell her to go to kilometer 21. And then I try it again. So yeah, she was very nice. Uh, she thought the fan was cute. It was really sweet. Uh, but yeah, I do not know where I'm headed to.
people wonder why people do things illegally. This is exactly why, because it's not clear whether it be in the United States or a different country. Nobody's anything easy. Last been yours. Um, I don't know. Sticker of like. Uh, where are you going? Guatemala. Okay, you have the your registration? Yes. Okay, let me check that. This is a model of. See. Okay. Okay. So, do I go to Im immigration? First immigration is like on the bankercito. Okay. You park in the inside. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. All right. Making progress. Watch these white people for a minute. I'm gonna stereotype and assume they are U.S. citizens. Once you get to the right location, it's fairly simple. I'm just going to use some alcohol. I'm cleaning off the windshield. But yeah, I was, as you saw from the other video, I was quite afraid I missed the location. Uh, yeah, this is what they give you is a nice little sticker. Got to peel it off. For a motorhome, it's actually good for 10 years. Mostly here goes it's 90 days, but for a motorhome, 10 years, so that's really cool to know. Uh, I went ahead and got copies of everything. It was 20 pesos for one, two, three, four pages. Going to put the originals in one file. But I'm going to go step back and do that real quick. Flip you around. Not a lot for you to see, but might as well just have you on. Deal with the rest of it later. Get us some water. So, nobody physically inspected the vehicle, so that was a little unusual, but hey, that's okay. Oh, the lady did not stamp my passport, so I had to make, make her do it. Takes my dad real quick, like I'm not my 
new number. Okay, guys. So once you make it inside, it's uh, just waiting in line to your turn. Uh, you will not be able to read any of the signs. You'll be able to read snippets of it, but not much of it. Um, just uh, wait in line. The lady will look at your papers, and then she will give you uh, the paper to take to the to the bank, for lack of better words. I don't know how to say it correctly. Um, and you have to fill out a form of what all you have in your van, uh, like how many TVs, tools. Uh, the way I did it, I put a little extra just in case this was just a uh, insurance thing of someone broke in or whatever I didn't know what it was for so I filled it out a little too detailed but then after you fill that out you take it to to that person and for us it was 1152 pesos which is roughly 60 US dollars so I only paid 60 dollars to get into the country and get the vehicle into the country so for for day one the expense was 261 dollars US dollars for insurance um, 60 US dollars to import, 1 US dollar for a copy, uh, about five dollars in tolls. So, day one, 326 dollars in. Not too bad. Enjoy the sunset. Subscribe. Uh, be part of the giveaway. We're giving away some great stuff. Thanks for watching.